Hey y'all, thanks for joining us on the Wandering Pilgrims podcast today. This is Courtney, and today I will be reviewing the children's book, The Night's Map by R.C. Sproul. This episode of the Wandering Pilgrims podcast is sponsored by Anchor, the easiest and fastest way to record, edit, and distribute your podcast. We love Anchor and the Anchor app. We've used it from the very beginning. It's so user-friendly, whether you're a beginner or veteran. It's free to use with tons of editing tools and free music to use, just to name a few things. They also take care of distributing your podcast to all major podcasting platforms like Spotify, Apple, Google, and so many more. So if you're looking to get into podcasting but don't know where to start, download the Anchor app or visit anchor.fm to get started today. R.C. Sproul is a man who has helped us in our walk with the Lord for many years now at this point. We are blessed that he lived during our time when we could watch videos of him and learn from his teachings. So when we learned that he had written several children's books, we were thrilled. This one called The Night's Map is probably my favorite. I'm pretty sure our daughter's favorite is The Prince's Poison Cup. Um, which the review for that should be coming out soon. The Night's Map reminds me a lot of Pilgrim's Progress. It's an allegory just like Pilgrim's Progress, but it's not as lengthy. It's easy to read in one sitting, during reading time, or at night before bed. And this book, as all of the books um, for R.C. Sproul or by R.C. Sproul for children are beautifully illustrated. They're some of the most beautiful illustrations I have seen in children's books. This one starts, as the others do, with a child asking their parents a question and then telling the child that Grandpa was coming over soon and they should ask Grandpa their question because he always has the best answers. In this book, the children's grandpa tells them a story about a knight. He receives a letter and a map from the great king, who many believe doesn't exist. The map leads to a priceless treasure, but the map is also hard to read and understand. So without giving too much away, the knight goes on a quest to find the treasure. He meets some people along the way and asks for help, but since no one gives any thought to the great king, they don't offer much. He gets lost and turned around since the map is hard for him to read on his own until he meets a few men who were looking for him. They help him understand how to read the map and put him on the right path. I won't reveal the ending, but it is wonderful, as are the lessons in this book. The additional information to parents at the beginning and the end are such a big help too, as well as the question and answer section to discuss what went on in the book, what or who this character represented, what lessons were learned from this section, and and many, many more. The questions are fantastic, probably one of my favorite parts, and our daughter loves going through those as well. We highly recommend The Night's Map and all of R.C.'s children's books, as well as his books for adults and resources from Ligonier. You can find... Our other reviews of his children's books on our website, and hopefully we'll be putting some out on our podcast soon. The easiest way to stay up to date with that would be to go to our website and sign up for our newsletter. You can also like and subscribe here on our podcast or our YouTube or Rumble. Rumble. Um, And of course, you can find us on all of the social media networks now. We are excited to be getting back in the swing of doing our podcast and connecting with y'all. Um, we also wanted to let y'all know that we have started Patreon. We're still figuring it out, but you can check us out there. And um, we have been really 
ramping up our uh, designing for our uh, shirts and merchandise stuff uh, that a lot of people seem to uh, be using and liking to use to help them spark conversations to hopefully share the gospel with people because that is the ultimate goal and our great commission. Uh, We hope to hear from y'all in the comments here or on our social media platforms. And until next time, keep wandering, pilgrims.